Um, <laughs> why are you sounding so evil today? <laughs> what's what's with the cackle, sir? I'm cackling. Halloween, dude. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's another Friday night edition of Friday Night Frights with your host, Killer Cal. Hi. And my boy, Tony Midnight. <laughs> what? What's with your evil cackles today, man? Because we're going to be talking about Halloween. That's not right. Not not the Halloween not, per se. Up. What that? Who's that guy wearing the that? Myers Captain Michael or something like that? Rain, What's his name? Rain. Darn Captain Kirk mask. <laughs> the uh, reverse Captain Kirk. Talk about that guy later. And introducing our third partner in crime, Al Jawa the Ewok. Tell everybody hi out there, Al Jawa. Al Jawa. Al. Where is he? Al Jawa. Check your pockets. He's not in there? No. Hey, Sh- Shaggy, is Al Jawa outside? That guy, I swear to God. He He's gonna owe me. Again. <clears throat> remember, he, remember what we told him. He he has to do if he doesn't show up today. What? He has to go outside butt naked during our show. Where was I when I missed this? I I, I, I oh, that I, was something in private. I told him. <laughs> shit, private. I know I did. I did it. Okay, so <clears throat> today's theme. Sorry, my mic's my mic's hot. You're the theme, the theme of the day is uh, talking about the origins of a Halloween. <laughs> oh, that was very vaudeville of you, sir. Very vaudeville. Very I hope that don't or Italian. Do, 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 that we are the happiest horror show anybody has ever heard. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, our stuff is the like we're not the typical. Okay, we, let's, it, let's let's. It's because we have the, the aloha in us. Oh, shoes you know? move. We aloha, aloha cause aloha, aloha. aloha. Bro, we, bro, we show you aloha. cause. No, but it and I try to explain it to the person. I'm not gonna mention names. I don't wanna, like. Um, I think it was a troll. To tell you the truth, I didn't wanna say anything. What we have a troll? Yeah. Uh, uh, From where? A, v- a vagina troll? <laughs> Is Mr. Fiend? I can't find him anyway. I can't. I'll, I'll tell you the name later. Okay. But anyways, they're like, you guys are like the happiest, most happy sounding horror show ever. I hate it. And I was like, awesome. Good. I want you to hate the show. What would you rather hear? You guys are supposed to be spooky and so, scary. So, so basically, he's like, he's like Winifred. Right, 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 oh, right. Remember, like, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> Makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> right. They can't, they can't. What, he, a, what a happy little horror show. Right. Makes <laughs> me sick. He doesn't want, he didn't want, uh, he didn't like the fact that we laugh and, you know, I'm campy and jokey and, you no, know, you dropping bomb knowledge over there. The guy was like, not having it. And I'm like, dude, this is what it is. Haters make us famous. All right, they, they, they keep hating. That's all I said, man. Haters ah. gonna hate. Let them go. Nah. But yeah, I thought it was funny. We're the happiest horror show out there. I think that should be our new tag. Oh my god, it gives me the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> we have a hater. But for that guy in specific, we are going to do it for f- a few minutes, uh-huh. like a scary horror talk show. Okay, you ready? So you get go. your best horror sounding voice. No, not death metal. Not oh, death metal. No, okay. no, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> Horror sounding. So Vincent Price, we can do Vincent Price. You can can you do Vincent Price? Um <clears throat> Tony Midnight. Let me let me, let me try to do Vincent Price. Okay. <clears throat> I'm dead. Okay, that's good. That's a good, good Vincent Price impersonation. <laughs> um what Most about respect um, to Vincent Price? Right. We were just listening to Michael Jackson's thriller and we we're both astounded. He was rapping. Yeah. He was rapping. I, I think he he is labeled an official MC. I thought we were gonna go serious, well. Oh that. yeah, sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find something. Let me find something. Put it on. Put it on. Put let me it find. On. Hold on. Let me. Which song should I go? And with? I don't have to go right now. Uh. We'll tear your soul. 
fallen apart. Ugh. Welcome everybody to another Friday night edition of Friday Night Frights. Friday Night Fright. With your host, Killer Cal. And Tony Midnight. We are going to delve into the depths of the history of Halloween. Samhain, the festival of the dead. Tony Midnight has dug into the depths and the vaults of researching whatever. Arr, matey. Arr, arr. And found the history and the so-called beginnings of... Uh, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. You can't do it. I can't do it anymore. You can't do it. We, Screw that guy. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Did you like my little my little like death death growl? Thing? That was awesome, dude. Arr, so that was a little arr, little arr, shout out to that guy. Not really a shout out, but there you go. That's the reason why we don't do that shtick. It's a shtick. Bottom it's a line, shtick. we can still love and watch horror movies and be who we are and be happy guys. Hey, you know we don't have to be I'm all happy. cut my wrist all the time. I'm a happy guy. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. hey. All right. You know, I talk about like you know disembowelments and dismemberments <laughs> and decapitations. It makes me giggle. It makes and me it giggle. It makes me giggle. It makes me a little chuckle laugh. there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go ahead and let's start the show off with the origins, the origins. of the Halloween. Of Halloween. Uh, where should I pick? Okay, hold on. Whichever Acor- you want. According to many scholars, All Hallows' Eve is a Christianized feast influenced by Celtic harvest festivals with possible pagan roots, particularly with Gaelic festival Samhain. Wait, particularly with the Gaelic festival. I think uh, you Sam Sam Samhain. No, it's not pronounced Samhain. Um, no, the correct pronunciation Samhain. 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 It's Samhain. Samhain. Is why is it why is it spelled Sam Hain? Well, uh back then when they did I, it, the language was different, right? Some of the uh, some of the letters weren't actually the way it's supposed to sound. I'm sorry. I, I graduated high school by graduated with a D plus. D plus. You know? Good job. Good All right, job. so what else? Well, Selwyn and uh You know, I have a I have a nephew named Selwyn, so that's kinda of funny. Oh, you do? Yeah. He's a good kid, man. He's a good kid. Oh, Kind of evil, but he's good. Not that evil. Festive Halloween activities include trick or treating. Trick or treating. Costume parties and decorating, carving pumpkins and jack o' lanterns. You betcha. Car. <laughs> you I betcha. I don't know where I was going with that one. But the the the, the festival is uh, the the fest uh, the the Samhain thing is uh, I guess could be considered like a pagan kind of deal. Right. It's all paganism, is it? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what else you got? I don't know. I should have. I should have like titled these picks because they're all out of order. Oh, are they? <laughs> they are. Anyway, yeah, that's kind of hot. To Hold here. on. I mean, like what? The, Turn that down there. All right, here we go. Okay, so the pick, the pick. Why are you not playing the Halloween music? Which Halloween music? Give me this thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll find it. There's, there's Halloween talking. music in there. I I'm see. pretty sure. It's a very long one. Launch. And I want to hear Halloween noises. Yeah. I want to hear spooky castles and and and, and, mm. and organs and and um uh, virgins being. Here we go. You no. Know, um. The 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 the. There you go. I got it. What's this? Ah. Oh okay, Here we go. Oh wait. This, this this sounds like a classic. 1940s black and white horror movie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make it louder. Make it louder. Make it louder. Make it louder for the children to hear. There you go. For the children to hear. Just for all you horror geeks and fans out there. Children. Dear children. Do not venture into the dark woods. For the great pumpkin is waiting for you. The great... An evil pumpkin. The great not the evil one, pumpkin. Not the one in the Peanuts Gallery. That, <laughs> what's the name of that kid now? With the blank is the kid Lewis? The, no. What is his name? The kid with the blanket, right? Linus. 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 Always every Halloween. Lioness. Night. He's out there in the pumpkin patch awaiting the great pumpkin, you betcha. Waiting for the great pumpkin king. That's my new thing. You betcha. Alright. So Keep going with the history of Halloween. What is some of? Oh, uh, with trick or treating. Where did trick or treat come into play? Giving out candies. I mean, back then, 
They never did that. They all just. They never did that. It was more like a feast. Right, right. You no, know, they'll gather around the feast, and they didn't have jack o' lanterns back then. They had turnips. 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 They painted faces on the turnips, and left it at the at the front door, so they can ward off the evil spirits. Oh, interesting. The evil spirits that walk. I did not know that. Walk among the living on Halloween night, 1955. 1955. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, when so they start, start to get all Americanized. You know, they went with pumpkins. Pumpkins and jack o' lanterns. Well, I can see why they went with pumpkins. For a- apples. Bobbing for apples. There's a it. reason for the bobbing for apples thing. I don't remember what it is. Like. I don't remember either. Um, but the pumpkins thing came about because it's so. October is the month right before Thanksgiving, and pumpkins were uh, abundant. Oh, yeah. So why not use some of, of the course. pumpkins you know, to when, supplement when, the. When uh, fall starts around and you're like. <laughs> Oh, let me get a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> you can know, I get a human? Here. Can I get a human flavored latte, yeah. please? A pumpkin ordering. It, it, a- those are the months: September, October, November. Pumpkin. Oh well, December too, because you know you get you get some pumpkin stuff in December. So that whole yeah, yeah, right like into the winter months. Pumpkin custard for Christmas. Dude, pumpkin yeah. custard is the bomb. Christmas. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Hey, 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 bells, we're talking about Halloween. Jingle all we're t- the way. We're talking about Halloween, sir. Oh, what? He, he forgets that I control the mic. Horse. Are you done? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I control the mic. I will shut you off if you start singing Christmas songs. Dashing through the oh, storm. Lord. Here we go. I'm turning you off. <laughs> okay, so uh, you can talk from all the way over there, partner. All right, let's Get go. Uh, so I'm done with the Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right. I know you got something up your sleeves, pal. I can see it in your face. What else? What else? What else? So what the trick or treat part. Uh, did you research trick or treat? Why did? Why are we giving out candies to kid little kids? That's kind of pervy if you you think about it. Well, it started out with giving them razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> Started. Oh, I just hit the mic. I'd, ra- I'd rather talk about the urban legends of Halloween. Okay, let's go. We'll, we'll it's particularly delve, one with the whole idea of that the pe- people put razor blades and apples and gave it to kids. Well, that started off with a true story, though, right? It was actually, I think it's an urban legend. I don't think it really happened. I think it happened once, only once, and it became only this urban legend. Back in 1935. No, it was more recent, like 70s and 80s. Because that whole thing started being a scare in the 80s. So I think mid-70s, late 70s, it was a, a, a somebody, one person in the mainland, just because he was irritated with kids, decided this is the time I'm going to have the light on. The kids can come trick or treat and I'm going to give them Apples. an apple. However, a parent caught him in the act. Like, not in the act, but... When they gave him the apple, they checked it. So That's uh, horrible! What a horrible person! But that became the whole thing. If you if you're not nice, you know, it became the scare tactic for all these other people that didn't like kids trick or treating or didn't like the kids not being nice. You know, you better watch out, or so and so, Mr. Johnson's house is going to give you apples. You better and watch razor blade. out. You better not. <laughs> you done? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. You promise, promise? I promise. You did it, man. You said better watch out, so I did <laughs> I, I, I know, I did it. I got you. <laughs> anyway, so Anyways. what else urban legends start off with uh, Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> Are you mad because I cut your mic off? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, let's just start. Let's go into the movies now because we can talk about a lot of stuff about Halloween right. movies. Right. Okay, so we not decided. Not this, this dude like, with the, What is his name? I don't um, know. Myers. Mike Myers, Myers from Shrek. Right. Mikey, right? <laughs> Mikey. Mikey. Mikey Mikey, Michaels. Mikey Sheffield Myers. Sh- Sheffield. How scary is a middle name like Sheffield? That's an I, actual good question. I just gave him that middle name. No, it's I know. Na- That's good. But what is Michael Myers' real. Real middle name. Um, did they even say anything? They didn't say. That is a question I pose to you, our fellow listeners, our fans. Um, either comment, and we'll at, talk about it next week. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll talk about it next week. So right now, comment uh, in the uh, Facebook Messenger page that we have mm-hmm. for Terania, uh for Friday Night Frights. Um, also, if you follow us on 
Ternia on, I mean, well, not Ternia. Ternia on Twitter. Twitter. Tweet it. Hashtag Ternia. Ternia. Uh, what else? Oh, our, our YouTube. Our, you face, our Facebook page. Oh, yeah, our Facebook Ternia. page. Right? Hashtag Ternia. So if you didn't know, that's our, that, that's the name of our, 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 our me and him are Ternia. <laughs> me and him. We're terrorists. <laughs> We're, in the aisle, we're terrors, in the not terrorists. Aisle. We're terrors we're in terrors. the aisle. We 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 come out of the shadows. So um, Ooh, we come out of the shadows. <laughs> okay, with, are you ready to speak? with smiles on our faces, talking about decapitations? You know, before I ring the, well, before I ring the bells, what did I do now? Before I ring the bells. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We we're gonna speak about movies. We we're gonna speak about the horror movies, but first off, hey, what? you're listening to KKU eighty eight point five FM, the voice of Maui. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so let's, okay, let's, get, movie. let's get into let's get into the trick or treats. You know, there's like trick or oh, there, there's three that I know of, so I'm pretty sure there's like a, like like maybe a bunch of other horror movies out there with the trick or treat in the title. With the trick or treat name. Yeah. But okay. I know of three that I love. I love. Well, one you introduced me to, which I have on Blu-ray right now. Yes, you do. You have Thank that you movie. Hey, hey, hey. And speaking okay. of DVDs, yeah. Al Jawa messaged me. Um, yeah, he messaged me too. You saw it? I saw it. You saw it? I saw it. I told him, you come on down and you review what you what you bought. Right, he should. And he bought a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he bought the Friday the 13th series. What, uh, what a lucky movie. guy. What a lucky guy. He got the uh, Friday the 13th. Oh, that's all Blu-rays, right? I have. I think they're all DVDs. Okay, DVDs. They're all DVDs. Uh, one through five, I think. And all he, of them. He's got the. Uh, he's got, uh, he's the, got the, the Nightmare on Elm Street. The new he's got Nightmare. The Friday the 13th. The new Nightmare. And he has. There we go. I know it's because it was yours. <laughs> it's a it's a little nice box set. Um. I would like. I don't. I don't want to say steel box or steel case. But it's. It's like that. It's a box set. It's the horror classics collection right. of uh, Night of the Living Dead and Adam Age Vampire and uh. Carnival Souls. You betcha. Yeah, betcha. All right. So trick so, or treat movies. Trick or treat movies like. Uh, well. Um. Whoa! When did Christopher Walken come into the door? Well, trick or treat is a. Uh, very good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you folks, but I love I, it when he does Christopher Walken. I'm terrible at doing Christopher Walken. That, I mean, it's not spot on, but it's funny as heck. So first off, in the early 80s, we got the movie Trick or Treats. Trick or Treats. Trick or Treats. With an S at the end. With an S at the end. Trick so or Treats. That's how this, you know, it plays out like, hey... Because like, there's like three, change four, the five. name, change right. the name. There's like a whole bunch of put a Z at the end. But the uh, Trick or Treats is an interesting little goofy campy slasher flick that came out in the early 80s. Who's some of the stars that starred in it? I have no idea. They're like, who are these people? They're all dead. Not yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. They're, they're, it's the 80s, man. But the story is uh, this woman, she's going to a Halloween party, last minute cancel. Okay, what I'm gonna do for Halloween? Uh, oh, I get a call from parents saying that they need a babysitter. Oh, you need a babysitter. babysitter. Here's a little, here's a little thing they didn't, they didn't um, tell her about this boy, this chubby little eight-year-old boy that needs a chubby babysitter. little love monkey. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's a prankster. He's into magic and special magic. Effects. The Gathering. Did they have Magic the Gathering back in 1982? Uh, they might have. I don't think so. They had D and D. Oh yeah, that's right. He might have been to D and D though. Like he looks like one of those kids that would be into D and D. But anyway. Oh anyway. Uh, this kid, he he does everything. I mean, he make, makes believe he's cutting off his thumb. Freak, freaks out the babysitter. When all the while that's going on, a lunatic escaped from the mental institution. What? Roaming the neighborhood, killing the neighbors, and stalking the babysitter. What? What? Shogging? Ragging? What? <laughs> really? I'm like, like, 
At first, when I watched That's this, very, very I was, I was a kid. Con- uh, yeah, it's very 80s cap horror, right? right, right, right? Yeah. Rip off. Right. The like, like, babysitter watching the kid. Right. Lunatic. Right. Room. But the difference between this one is that this guy doesn't wear a mask, so you pretty much see his face. And so it's a big time psycho. He's killing people He's left psychotic. and right. Psychotic. And yeah, and the babysitter is pretty much trying her best to survive Halloween night. Ooh. There's a killer lurking in the bushes. <laughs> Raggy? Killer. Weeping in the bushes? Lurking in the bushes. Why am I doing? Why, Why am I doing, doing Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. <laughs> Enough okay. with Scooby. Next movie. Next movie we're gonna talk about is Trick or Treat. No S this time. No S. No but S. but you you did the question mark though. Trick or treat. It's not a question mark. But the way you made it, it would seem like it was a question. I think I was trying to channel Vulcan again. Oh, take it easy. Okay. Trick or treat. <laughs> First of all, Vulcan. But, uh, Trick or treat was in the middle of the 80s, mm. and it's uh, the main character is uh, Corky from Family Ties. No way. He plays a heavy metal kid. You mean that clean cut glasses the dorky? Clean, yeah. Hi, everybody, everybody out there. We have Ululani on hey, the Ululani, yeah, yeah. video chat. So we'll, we'll get her feedback in a few minutes. I wonder if she saw Trick or Treat. Wait, hold on. It's the 80s. Did you see any of, and did we give you any movies this weekend? The Deadlands. Oh, no, Bloodlands. Blood, 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 Bloodlands. Bloodlands. Oh, that's right. Huh? Pink shoes. Oh yeah, I got a review on that. Okay, so should the shoes. Pink shoes. I'll get. I'll tell you in a minute. Go ahead, finish okay. the trick or treat. No, trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat. Corky, the nerd Corky. from Family Ties. Can't remember his name. He's a heavy metal guy. Right. And Gene Simmons is in it. Ozzy Osbourne what? plays a minister that damns heavy metal music. You're kidding me. Yeah, he's like playing the opposite of himself. That is so awesome. <laughs> And uh, I mean, whoever the producer director was to get, yeah, get these guys. Ozzy, I mean, especially Ozzy, Ozzy back in the 80s. Not to mention Gene Simmons, I mean, the demon of Kiss, right? Right, right. But ah. you're talking about Ozzy, Black Sabbath, Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne, man. Ozzy Osbourne, man. and he's Do playing you know? a priest, a priest that's banning heavy metal music, yeah, the, condemning, oh, condemning, condemning heavy metal music, talking, he, and talking everything about like, oh, this is Satan's music. This is the devil's <laughs> work, you know, doing all that. Nobody bites their head off bats. That's gross. That's gross. I mean, Don't like, for that. real, like, that guy must have some pull and balls to get this guy, to get Ozzy Osbourne, the great Ozzy. It's a cult classic. No, I know, I know. I remember you telling me. I still got to go watch it. I might have watched it. It's on fa- It's on YouTube, so you can you just pull it up anytime you want. That's what she said. <laughs> so next... So, uh, yeah, Trick or Treat is the story of a heavy metal outcast. Another title, Trick or Treat. Yeah, no, it's the same title. I'm talking about Corky here. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Hey, God, don't get me off a topic. God, no. gee whiz. Gee, oh, somebody's gee, getting... Gee, dude, hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, oh, 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 hey. Oh, 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 you pay now, you go out my store. I hope the guy's still listening because uh, he's not going to like today's show. <laughs> well, uh, the, um, okay. <laughs> Let me look. Um, Usa. Focus, Usa. focus. Focus, focus Daniel son. So, focus. He's a heavy metal outcast. All right, heavy metal outcast. Right, and his favorite singer commits suicide. No. And he has the last record that that singer created, that made. No. Okay. Now he plays the record backwards. Oh, I knew that was coming. What happens? What I knew happens? that was coming. He summons the spirit, and now that the, the singer's a demon. Yes. And he wants to infect the world oh. with his heavy metal music. Whose music was it? Tell me it was Ozzy's. Um, no, I think it was uh, Gene's. No, I think no, it wasn't Gene. There's, there's, there's like Megadeth in there. There's like a whole bunch of other metal bands out. Sweet. In it. You know, you have. I'm gonna watch it, and I'll give you my review later. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And now we're gonna talk about All right. This uh just 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 made it within this millennia. Right? 
Or is it is it who I'm thinking of the trick? Er treats. Trick with an R. Er trick or treats. <sighs> Anthology <laughs> film. <laughs> Anthology. I love this film. Oh, oh. Hosted by Sam. Sam. Sam tells the, he tells the web of tales within this town on really, Halloween night. He doesn't really speak. He That's how he tells it, though. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, he presents it, you know? Right, right, with, right. His, with his being. He's this entity of Halloween. Right. I would love to know where this, you know, who came up with this idea to have Sam. Oh, pull up IMDb. I'm pretty sure it's the writers of the film. Oh, that, no, but like, I mean, the writers, right? They're like, you know, we're going to create this kid named I Sam, blah, 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 blah. Sam, but then like, to have the what they designed. Yeah. For the character Sam is so simplistic. It's and demonic. It's awesome. Yeah. It's like if, if nobody knows it, it's like he's a, just a, another trick or treater. Right. Right. He looks just like another trick or treater and some kind of old. I don't know, like scarecrow kind of mask deal. Is it like a, like a scarecrow mask kind of with the buttons? Yeah. 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 But kind of scarecrow is. Yeah. If if you don't know this movie, it's an awesome horror anthology. If you need a horror movie to watch for Halloween, get it. Oh, he slapped the table. Get it. That means it's serious. Rent it. Watch it. You will be afraid of I, Sam. I wouldn't say rent it. I would say go and buy it. Own it's it. something Own you it. have to get it. Own it. Yes. Own I it. found. Own it. I couldn't find the DVD. Remember, we couldn't find the DVDs. Remember, we were like trick or trick or treat. I gotta find it on DVD. He said, "I got it, blah blah." But I, I want have it. it. You have it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it. Now you have the Blu-ray. Now I got the Blu-ray. So I was like, "Awesome!" Oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! I hope the guys are listening. Cause oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! I hope this guy's listening. When Sam Hain won. When Sam Hain won. When Sam. Hain oh wait, wait, saw it. When saw it won. <laughs> okay, back to the movies. I can't do that part. <laughs> he killed the girl next door. He killed the girl next door. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> he just <laughs> took a Christian song. <laughs> it's so pretty killing it. It's solid. <laughs> All right, next movie. What next movie? We're talking about trick or treats. Oh, we still talking about trick or treat? Why do you keep pushing the next movie deal, man? We got lots of time. Uh, oh, let's get into trick or treat. What's okay. the first story? Uh. uh <laughs> we did that. That's for you, we Shaggy. Just, that, we just that's, hypnotized. that's for you, Shaggy. We just hypnotized the nation. <laughs> the Shaggy. We okay. Just a little uh, uh, back history. Uh, back up a bit here. Mm -hmm. um, we've been in training with Shaggy Jenkins. We have, and that was the one thing he said not to do on the radio is do the uh. Really? <laughs> we did that. Really? We're we dedicating it? down to Shaggy yeah. Jenkins. He's gonna go and edit this right now, and he's gonna go. Don't don't do it. Don't Those do punks, it. I swear to good, I'm uh, gonna get them. <laughs> okay, first story. Okay, well, I, I don't remember some of the stuff. Oh, no, no, it's the, uh, the, it's the girl. The, the, one, she was the like lollipop. All, yeah, she was like all pee, pee off. Right, at the boyfriend for not Peed decorating the, the house. Not, no, not taking everything down. Oh, yeah, taking down. He's like having too much treats. fun, so she's not showing the Halloween spirit. Right, Here right. Here comes Sam. He's watching her. She, she's feeling his eyes on her, you know, and then, you know, all of a sudden, boom, she's dead. Dead. With a lollipop shoved in her mouth. A lollipop. Lollipop. Shoved lollipop. in her mouth. Oh, lolly, 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 I like pop, that. Lollipop. Oh, lolly, lollipop. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Okay. So there was the one, oh, our favorite is the, uh, like uh, the Red Riding Hood one. No, 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 no. Remember, I, we both agreed that the zombie one. Oh, the zombie, the zombie kids. Yes, the zombie kids. Not Trapped just regular the, zombie kids. No, they're, they're you know. Mentally uh, challenged. Mentally challenged. Zombie kids. Zombie kids that were killed wrongfully because the town didn't want. They, they were like a burden. Right. Uh, these, kind of, guys, oh, you know, these kids are a burden. Let's get rid of them. No, what happens to them in death? They become, you know, sp spirit like evil zombies that. 
Rise from the depths. From the depths of the cavernous. This, this, this all this all happens because you know they wanted to play a prank. The little kids wanted to play a prank on this one kid. Just like weird. She's weird and everything. Right. No, no, no. It's their fault for pulling this prank. Because she's the one that knows about the the curse, right? Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. The curse. She knows the story. And uh, the whole thing is the kids that okay, let's backtrack. Those kids, the handicapped kids that died, they were dressed in Halloween garb. Yeah. Classic nineteen thirties yeah. oh. creepy, scary scary clown Halloween. face, yeah. the Dracula face. Which is oh my god. So goodness. they were they're dressed to the T. You they know. were dressed to the T. They were gonna have a good day at school. Was that was they were on their way to school, they were right? On their way right. to school and the bus driver decided let's uh, take these kids out. You know, take they're a, a bird and they're I'm a bird. A so bonsai boom. this right into the cavern. Banzai straight into the Daniel son Banzai <laughs> So yeah, that was we agreed that was one of our favorite uh, part of the anthology. Yeah, I like that. But hey, 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 Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just say there's a very sexy <laughs> scene. Like you'll you'll never look at werewolves the same way. Again. Roger that. I you'll mean, never look at werewolves the same way again. I would have voted that as my favorite because I'm a big werewolf kind of guy. But yes, you are. Spiritually, you're a lichen. Yes, spiritually, I'm a lichen. I'm but a lichen uh, too, but no, nowadays I'm more like uh, I don't know. Maybe I might be a cat, not a wolf. Pat, what? No, you're still a wolf. Am I? Yes, you're I'm still st- part of my pack. So leave it act. No act, boo. Hey, why get get, get lichens that can change into cats too? That's not lichens. That is like in shapeshifters, like oh, they can change. It's not, necess- can it's not necessarily can be a werewolf. Uh, it can be any other animal. About a deer, like a Native American. What about a zombie beaver? A zombie beaver? <laughs> I still haven't watched that. Me neither. I know we said that weeks ago that we were doing. But anyways, yeah. So there was the re- little Red Riding Hood, well, Red Riding Hood one, and yeah. very, very, very promiscuous, very and, and promiscuous. And then you have the old man, the yeah. Sam. Sam terrorized that night. Yeah. Because he always turned down the like, shoes away the trick or treaters. Right. Oh. And then you have the next door neighbor who's like a teacher or something. Right. <laughs> the, fat, the fat kid. The fat kid. That was awesome. Here, have 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 a chocolate bar. You want a chocolate bar? You want a chocolate bar? That guy's a famous bar. actor too, by the way. I don't know his name. Yeah, I can't remember his name either. He's in Fido. Yes. I love Fido. That's a great zombie film. <laughs> but anyways, trick or treat. You okay. must own watch it. this movie. Oh, watch it and own, own it, it and watch it for Halloween. Yes, it's perfect for the Halloween season. And it, uh, just a little rundown. It's not just different stories, not different anthologic stories. It's actually it, everything's connected. Everything's connected. Yeah, yeah, it's it all is connected. connected. Through so the Sam. first, right, through Sam. So the girl that gets killed first, the boyfriend gets killed last, doesn't he, or something? I uh, forgot to watch it. Gotta watch it. I'm gonna watch it today when I get home. Yeah, but it's, it's Halloween time. You should watch it. You bought the Blu-ray. And I'm gonna watch, watch it. it. I am going to watch it. Golly gee I think we should make Ululani watch it too. It might be. It might be. It might be on Netflix. It might be on um whatever. She does have the box. The box. The box. And I'm sure it's Sounds on. Like a Twilight Zone. The episode. box. <laughs> the box. <laughs> okay. So next <laughs> next one, sir. Um, other men- movies that should be mentioned for um, your Halloween watch mm. this year: Midnight Hour, which is a TV movie. Right, right. That sounds familiar. With Lavar Burton. Oh, Reading Rain. Lavar Burton, uh, one of Dumb Deloise's sons, one of the Deloise boys. James Deloise or something. Uh, he, he was Josh one from Solar Solar Babies. Oh, okay. Kind of chubby, chubby. No, wait, 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 wait. No. Because there's two. There's, there's no, the. No, I'm mixing them up. The other guy, the dude from Girls Just Want to Have Fun, is in it. I think. Captain Lou Albano. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Captain Lou Albano. Lou Lou Bano. Yeah. Wait, you said wait, you said Luau. Captain Lou Albano. Oh, Albano. Oh, yeah. Do uh, you anyway, know a little mid- bit of history about Captain Lou? If if it pertains to Halloween, well, kind of, no, 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 no. I mean, I, it has to do with dressing up and stuff. You can tell me later. All I know is the guy had things hanging from his beard and he's wearing Hawaiian shirts. Okay, 
<laughs> anyway, Midnight Hour, LeVar Burton's in it. Reading, Reading Rainbow. Rainbow. LeVar Burton, uh, Jordy LaForge from uh, Star I think he becomes a vampire anything. in that movie. Really? He becomes a vampire in that movie. Nice. Yeah, the whole storyline behind Midnight Hour is that the kids uh, inadvertently released a demon witch vampire. Oh, no way. And then the dead start rising, 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 <laughs> rising from the grave. <laughs> rising. The dead start rising from the grave and all the creatures of the night start coming out. Werewolves. All and the creatures of the night. Demons and vampires. Demons, vampires. And um, this one. Ululani, is lo- Ululani loves vampires. Uh, she might enjoy Midnight Hour. <laughs> Tell her to go watch that on YouTube. You love you lamp- uh, vampires, right? You can speak. Vampires? You can say something. Yes, I love vampires. Ah. <laughs> it's a little cue. When you see my face this close to the camera, I'm, you can speak. I'm, I'm Dracula. The, Dracula. Tell, 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 wait, hold on. Tell everybody your favorite vampire movie. Twilight. Oh, take her off. Take her off. Hey. Take, done. Ooh, She's done. Uh, uh, She's done. Uh, uh. She's out of here. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I twinkle I'm in the Dracula. light. I am Dracula. Blah, <laughs> blah. You like my Dracula? I like your Dracula. Like my Dracula. I like your Dracula. My Dracula is so good. <laughs> okay, Midnight Hour. The Midnight Hour is a good film to watch for the Halloween season. Cool. It's, it's, it's PG. Cool beans. Because it's a TV movie. Uh, another one worth mentioning, it's not per se a Halloween movie, but not. it's very scary for the season. It's another TV movie. Everybody should check this one out. Which Dark one? Knight of the Scarecrow. Dark Knight? Why does that sound familiar? It sounds familiar because you probably watched it when you was a kid. Is it mid-80s? Uh, early 80s. Early like, 80s. It was on TV. It was an ABC family. Not ABC, but like an ABC movie of the night. Movie. Right, 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 right. Remember when they had those, yeah, those yeah. movie of the week things? Right. You know, and they had like Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, and they had Gargoyles, and... Oh, yes, right. Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot. Classic stuff right Dude, there. Dude, that is awesome Those right are good there. movies to watch for Halloween. Okay. But uh, a good one, R-rated one. R-rated. Starring Linda Blair. Starring Linda Blair. This is, this is, this is the 80s, when she was in her early 20s. And right, when she her, had... Those, those breasticles were, were, and... The chesticles were... Her you know, chesticles. Very nice looking. Yeah, Hell Knight. You know, I had a crush on Linda Blair for a bit, even during po- uh, not Poltergeist, but um, Exorcist. The first time I saw her boobs was in Night Patrol. No, I know, but when I yeah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, Hell Knight, starring Linda Blair. Hell Knight. Um, two couples are chosen to s- spend the night in a haunted house. In a haunted house. As for for a college, like, like they're putting a college prank deal on it. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you stop laughing. <laughs> Giggling stuff is awesome. <laughs> Scary sounds for Halloween. That would, that makes me laugh every time I hear that cackle. It's funny. But uh, Hell Night is Hell Night. It takes place on Halloween night. You know that whole Hell Week kind of deal. Right, 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 right. At the colleges. Right. So they gotta do this. Rush week. To get into yeah, like they get, they gotta do this this thing where they step, spend a night in a haunted house. Mm, okay. Interesting and, already. Uh, then there's another bunch of like a bunch of college kids on the outside. They're setting up pranks, you know, to scare them. Mm. It just so happens that the house is inhabited by a cannibalistic side night like, freak show freak. Oh, nice! Cannibalistic freak that that lives in lives in the basement or the dungeon. He starts going around and axing everybody and eating them. You said cannibalistic, so I'm assuming he eats them. Okay, wait, 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 let me take, 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 let me take that back. Okay, it's take it back. Cannibal. I'm thinking about anthropophagus. Anthropophagus. <laughs> okay, but um, Hell Knight is a very entertaining little slasher flick from the mm-hmm. early '80s with Linda Blair. Linda Blair. You just, if you want to see chesticles, like, she doesn't expose them, but they're just out there. there. Yeah, they're out there throughout yeah. the whole film, and you know, you want to see her. What is She's, Linda Blair doing now? Um, conventions, I think. Really, just conventions? Yeah. She should get back in the game. She should, shouldn't she? She should. Yeah, Linda Blair. I love her. Mm-hmm. She's still beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She wasn't beautiful in The Exorcist, though. She was awesome in The Exorcist. She was young, and then when she went ugly, she was very ugly. When she was ugly, she was very <laughs> ugly. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Midnight Hour, Hell Night. Check out those movies. Okay. Another cool Halloween night. Horror movie 
Night of the Demons, starring Linnea Quigley oh. and the stony name I know of the film. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is like, ah, they're eighties. They're eighties. They're probably dead now from yeah. coke overdoses. Maybe I don't know. Hey, be respectful. Hey, it's I a, am being respectful. It's a very good movie. It's very campy. Okay. But done in a good way. Nice. They're they're a bunch of kids again. Like, it, it always happens with a bunch of teenagers. <laughs> bunch of teenagers. They go into a haunted house to spend the night. You know, have a good time. Have a Halloween party. And what else do they have? And what else they have? Demons possessing their souls. Hey, you want a beer? Or do you want to smoke some pot? Or we can have premarital sex. <laughs> yeah, they can have premarital sex. There's a lot of sex going on in that movie. I mean, you see Linnea, Linnea Quigley. I mean, before they get to the house. Before they get to the house. They have to get some supplies for the party. Mm-hmm. This, I love this scene in the movie. This is the beginning of the movie. Okay. Um, to distract the store clerks, Linnea Quigley is bending over looking at random things. So they, they keep staring at her panties. <laughs> you know? What a great distress. What a great way to go five finger discount shopping. Oh, you just went there with the whole looking up upskirts and five fingers, huh? Yes. Five fingers upskirts shopping. <laughs> discount, discount, discount. Discount. <laughs> and we're at the top of the hour at KKU 88.5 FM, the voice of Maui. You're here with Friday Night Frights. A very professional music. Killer Cal and Tony Midnight. We're talking about Halloween. <laughs> you, Halloween you, have take, you have taken notes to the. Nth degree, sir. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. Very but, well uh, taught. Night sir. of the Demons. There's a scene in there, another scene with Linnea Quigley where she shoves a lipstick into her boob. Into her boob. This is where she gets possessed. But she like sticks a. How does she. Oh, you mean just the lipstick? She's possessed by a demon. She but, becomes a demon. So, in order to like entice other people to possess them, she seductively freaks them out. But how does pushing a lipstick. You gotta see this movie. I gotta watch this. Uh oh. Now, now you make me. It's like one of those freak out things. I mean, like the the friend, like he leaves the room and he's like, um, she just put a lipstick into her boo, <laughs> and then it came out of her vagina. Wait, what? Wait, that's the remake. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's a remake of it. Oh lord. With, with Shannon Elizabeth. Wait, what? That was what was her name again in um in American Pie? Uh, Olga. No. She's a European chick. Right, right, right. Yeah. And she's also in Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. And she's in Jane Silent And she's in the Night, Night of the Demons Boom, remake. boom, kitty. Boom, Chuck. boom, kitty, Chuck. <laughs> boom, boom, kitty, Chuck. But, um. With an F. What time is it now? We got, we got, we got lots you wanna, of time. You want to get into Udulani's review real quick? Okay, let's get okay. into her review. Let me get her up I, I told her to watch, uh. Blood. Bloodlands. Bloodlands. Yeah, so you're a uh, British, okay, British, Scottish Thriller. I have to turn this down because you might not yes. hear. Okay. Now, oh, yeah. oh, Lulani, what did you think? Wait, of wait the hold film? on, hold on, hold on. Let me. What do you mean? Hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. We gotta hold on, take on. this thing here. We gotta take this thing. And I put it in this thing here. And you shove it in there. Now, should I Lulani. say something? Hello. There Hi. we go. Hey. Got her on. Okay. Oh, how you doing? Okay, so we got Ululani all the way in the mainland. She, we made her watch. Well, you made her watch. I made her watch. Bloodlands. Bloodlands. Okay. So, uh. What Please did you think of the film? give your review on Bloodlands. It was not your typical horror flick movie where the the bad guys or one killer guy goes around chasing people and, and slashing them to death. Right. Um, so instead, you know, this nice little this couple, young couple buys a house somewhere and um, the family, the boys that used to live in it, they got kicked out by the bank. They dressed up as pigs, and they were all, they only wanted to take the people out of the house, tie them up, and put them someplace else. Stump so place. Take the house back. Did you just say stump place else? Yeah, someplace else. Oh, they someplace didn't care else. Where <laughs> because you said stump place else. Hold on, hold on. Stop real quick. Uh, just a little <laughs> FYI. FYI. She was under the pillow majority of the movie. Oh, it was that scary. Face. You didn't have to tell them that. <laughs> She's mad. Was it that scary? Was it that scary? I'm sorry. Was it that scary? It, it was it, scary. She has the prettiest pink shoes on earth. Oh, God. The oh, pink, pink shoes. The pink there we go. 
The pink shoes. Okay. She went there with the so pink she's shoes. Got, she's got these beautiful pink shoes on. They're like tennis shoes. And the pigs have have caught her. So she's with the bad people. And she's fighting. She hits this guy in the head with a with a stick and he goes to the ground. She thinks he's dead. Well, needless to you know, he has a box cutter in his hand and he cuts her leg. What? So what happened? The her Achilles blood heel. runs all over the pink shoes. Oh, oh no. no way. Ruined. <laughs> that was the scariest part of the whole movie, right there. <laughs> The Achilles heel. The Achilles heel. The, the pink Over shoes. Over the pink shoes. The pink shoes getting ruined. She was, uh, mind you, during the whole time, she's messaging me and she's telling me, oh, there's a da, 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 pink shoes. Oh, look, the pink shoes are not dirty. Oh, the pink shoes are beautiful. In between little, oh yeah, my God, it's yeah. killing. Uh, the pink yeah. people, blah, blah, blah. And then when the pink shoes got damaged and destroyed, she said, I'm done watching this. I'm done watching this. This is God, horrific. This is horrific. <laughs> God, the shoes. <laughs> okay, so but, uh, the ending it's a, part it's, it's a great it's a the movie itself is a very good cat and mouse chase type suspense thriller. Suspense thriller. Yeah. That's what I was trying to I forgot what yeah. it was called. So she's like, This is not really a horror movie. I'm like, Wow, well, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Fortress. Yes. From the eighties. Yes. Okay, so anything else you wanna you wanna say about Um no, the pig people got their house back in the end, and the nice couple ended up bound and gagged someplace with a train. <laughs> in London. In London. They, they found themselves back in London. Okay. Yeah, basically. So your next mission, if you, ch regardless if you choose not to do it, you have to do it. Because um, thanks to Al Jawa, you can blame him for this one. Uh, we're going to have to torture double time because since Al Jawa is not here today. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to give her... So he should get punished, not me. Oh, no, no, he no, was no. supposed but, to be naked but, hold on. Hey, wait, wait, Hold on. He'll get punished. He'll be flogged. Flogged. <laughs> but however, you both are our non-horror watching correspondents. Yeah. You guys are partners. Partners. So if he's not here, you get punished. It's a team effort thing. <laughs> so what... But you won't get naked. Uh, we won't be your female. We won't do that. We're nice to females. So what... <laughs> what Movie should we make her watch for next week's special? The midnight Halloween. hour. The midnight hour. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. She'll she'll she'll, she'll be able to. Uh, it's not really a punishment though. She likes vampires. Yeah, but it's not only vampires. There's demons. Oh. There's she scary. might like Lavar Burton though. Yeah. Huh. Reading what Rainbow. What are you number two then? No, 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 no. Can make her watch Night of the Demons as well. <laughs> <laughs> Two movies. I if like it's that. Scary. If it's scary, I'm waking somebody up, and you're gonna watch it with me and watch me cry the whole movie. <laughs> but she was under the pillow oh during, the, during the Bloodlands. I don't know. Night of the Demons might be. It's, there's comedy in it, but once they start getting possessed, <laughs> oh. lipstick into the. Ooh, watch out Into the boobicles You might like it It's 80s 80s So two 80s horror films Horror film classics a TV A TV horror film Midnight Hour And a horror film classic None of the Demons Sweet Very classic Very Halloween-y Did you get that? Right Write Halloween it down I'm right. outside in nature I don't have a pen Oh yeah she's outside in nature Look it's a beautiful oh. day In her mainland land We The we land will, of the main we, I will text you the the videos from YouTube. Okay, he will send yeah. you links. I'll send you the link on your messenger. Okay. Yeah, and or text you it. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Cool. You cool good? Beans. Cool beans. All right. Cool beans. Now, cool. do we keep her on, or you want more ev evil? Demon? If you want, if you want to keep her on. Maybe she might be interested in talking a little bit about the next movie we're going to talk about. Okay, let's go straight into the family fun zone. Family fun zone. This is a this is a movie that's shown every. Halloween. I mean, they start showing it in September. Okay. Hocus Pocus. Hocus <laughs> yes! Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Zachary. Ooh. Zachary Banks. <laughs> you watch Hocus Pocus? Every Ooh. year, Bette Midler. Oh, okay. Who you know what? You know what? Since we don't have back music, and I know Shaggy said it'll sound like crap, but go ahead and play something on your little box there. Oh my goodness! You want to? I but don't keep, have it down, keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down, brother. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. So we have something so in the background. So Hocus Pocus is a great film. 
right? It stars. Um, uh, it stars Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, yes. Kathy and Jimmy. Kathy and Jimmy. Apparently, I know all the names of the witches. Well, you the watch, Sanderson sisters. You know, every year, every year since I knew this guy, he has messaged me. Oh, we're watching Hocus Pocus again. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what we're watching? Co- Co- uh, Hocus you Pocus. Know what? I should be. I don't have any music on here that I can play that's going to be like Halloween related. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. This is my little rendition. <laughs> my little rendition. Are you guys ready for this? Uh, I'm waiting. Come little children, I'll take ye away <laughs> into the world of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, uh, like anyways, that. never mind. I put a spell on you. <laughs> and now you're mad. Okay, so Hocus Pocus. It's yeah. a Disney film, ain't it? It is. It's a Disney film, but you know this movie is very disturbing. Yes, it is. Very, it's very, very disturbing, disturbing for a Disney film. Yes, it is. The whole idea of three sisters, the witches. Yeah. Weren't they locked sucking, away for something? No. Well. They're, they're sucking the souls out of the children of sucking Salem. Sucking the souls. Sucking. You said sucking. That's even disturbing. Even more dis- disturbing. That's proof positive that Walt Disney's Walt Disney. Walt, Dis- Walt Disney. Walt Disney is the Walt, demon Walt himself. Walt Disney he's, is into he's paganism. Satan incarnate. He has his own cov- covenant and uh, you know <laughs> his his old coven and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, the Sanderson sisters. The Sanderson sisters. Sucking the lies of the little children. I mean, that's, that's right, just, right there disturbing. The little girl, was she drank the potion. Right. And they're over there just breathing in. And all of a sudden, there's just... Her soul. Now, now all that's left is this, this skeletal remain thing, right? Right. right. They curse her brother to be a immortal black cat. Right. Thackeray. Zachary. Back, Thackeray. Thackeray, Thackeray, that's right. Yeah, you got to think about it. This is, this is old program days now. Who's, who's Thackeray? Sean Murray. Sean Murray. From NCI, uh, NCIS. Okay, he's the guy that plays... I forget his Gunny. name. Gunny. No, not Gunny. What not Gunny. Anyway, he plays a dorky, nerdy guy on NCIS. Not like, LA, like, I, but I know, NCIS. I, I know this character. I just forget the name. Just freaking like... The one that Tony... D- oh, uh, you fart again, ice hole. <laughs> yeah, fart again. <laughs> But huh? uh, Wait, hold on, Ululani said something. What? Did you say something? You were talking about Tony Dinozo. Right, Tony Dinozo, the guy that picks on the guy that Tony Dinozo picks, picks on. Picks on. Who's that guy? What's his character's name? McGee. 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 Oh, it would have to take a woman to save us on that McGee. one. McGee. McGee. Yeah. So I remember Tony always calling no, him. He's McGeek. Australian. Is he? Yeah. Oi. And his first job was Hocus Pocus. Oi. Unbelievable, right? Hey, from a London under. I thought I thought the whole time he was like, "Oh, that's name Murray. He must be related to Bill." Bill, he's one of the, the <laughs> Murray boys. Okay. But then, uh, yeah, you know, you get the story. The Sanderson sisters in the Salem's lot, and why did they say Salem's lot? <laughs> Salem. Salem, Salem, Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts. They're in Salem. There's a new family in town, and the kid Max. He's like, "Oh, what's going on?" This whole Sanderson sister thing, I I don't believe it. You nah. know, Halloween humbug, bah humbug, bah humbug, bah humbug. Oh, joy to the world! That no, no, no. Since it's in Christmas, I'm cutting you off. Okay, hocus pocus. Huh? Hocus pocus. Uh, Max Max takes his little sister trick or treating. Right. Yeah. Oh wait, we can't forget about ice. Ice. This is ice. <laughs> Hollywood Hollywood What are you supposed to be? A new kid on the block? <laughs> oh lord I can quote I can quote the whole movie almost Do you want I've known you for close to Jeez Eight uh, years now? Nine? Long, ten years? Almost ten years Almost ten years And every year Every on Halloween, Halloween I'm watching Hocus Pocus Hocus Pocus Hocus Pocus Hocus so Pocus I know, It has to be done I know you That is the movie to watch I guess I'm gonna have to watch Hocus Pocus now Great You have it? Don't you yeah have it but not DVD? by free will I did not want it it was given to us by Mr. Disney. And you do not like Hocus Pocus? I, it was just campy, too campy for me. But, you know, be, now the, if I look at it with brand new eyes and a different sense, I might watch it. Billy, the vamp, the, the zombie. Right. 
Isn't that the coolest, goofiest he's the zombie cool, ever? He's the only cool thing in the movie I yeah. thought at that and, time. And the guy, the guy that that plays Billy the Zombie, mm-hmm. he went on to like being one of Hollywood's top creature guy. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, he was um, trying to think of the name. He was a fish guy in Hellboy. Oh, uh, Jones. Ah, oh, what is his real name? Jones. I think his name is Jones. Doug Jones? No, Doug. Something? I think something like that. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, yeah. because his stature, his stature is made for, he was also the, he the hand, a, you ever yeah. watch Pan's Labyrinth? Pan's Labyrinth, he was yes, the guy, yeah, right? yep, and um, I think he did, he also did like a, a guest judge uh, on an episode of uh, Face Off. Face Off, right, yeah, yep. So, yeah, you got, you got, you got a goofy zombie, you got a cat, a mm-hmm. talking cat. Talking cat. You got a little girl whose parents were porn stars. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, Thora Bridge. Her parents were porn stars. Porn stars, right? Yeah, right. right. Um, in real life, just to let you. Brother know. lights lights a black flame candle and and boof, boom! A whole horrible night just ensues and ensues. we have to survive. Book, come to me. <laughs> Please don't quote the movie. Book. Again. Do we Book. have another movie before our time runs up? We've got like no, no, no. We're done with radio. I mean, Hocus Pocus. Everybody knows what Hocus, Hocus Pocus, Pocus is. Hocus Pocus. All right, so let's All go right. run down. Give a brief rundown of what we 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 said earlier. We said, okay, uh, uh, great movies to watch for Halloween. Yes, we got the Trick or Treats. Trick or Treats. Eighty-one or eighty-two around right. there. You got Trick or Treat. That's about eighty-six. Mm-hmm. Trick or Treats with uh, well, Trick or Treat with a horror anthology. That was like two thousand eight. We should make her watch there. Trick or Treat. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's if, it. If you watch can it. find it, if you can Trick find or it. Treat. It's not it's scary. scary. Midnight no, Hour, scary. Hell Night, Dine of the Demons, and Hocus Pocus. Hocus you betcha, betcha. All right. Oh, how many times? Time so we got time enough for shout outs. Shout outs and okay. a lot. And I mentioned about speaking we got, of. We got speaking of Halloween. Right. This Saturday, tomorrow. This Saturday, October twenty fourth, nine p.m. to two a.m. Twenty one plus only. Tomorrow night. It is Conos on the Greens, Creatures of the Night. Creatures of the Night. Presented by Maui AIDS Foundation. Yeah. All proceeds will be given to Maui AIDS Foundation to and other using the program. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, well, fifteen dollars pre sale. So you can still get, you know, you can get the pre sale. I think still get up you know, to up to Saturday. But tomorrow night at the door, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. And uh you if you come down, say hi to us. We'll be there. We'll be there. We, we will, will be, be there. there. Oh right. Uh, you might not recognize us, but we will be there. Yeah, I might look no, you recognize me because I'm that big pudgy guy. Well, you never know. You could be a guy in makeup that's pudgy. They'll know it's me. Oh jeez. All right. I'm 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 I'm, I'm I'm rotund. I'm Rot- robust. Robust oh, and rotunda? rotund. Yes, sir. Mike rotunda. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so, check us out this Saturday. We'll be there at the... Uh, I say goodbye to Ululani and put in our little music thing. You sure? Yes. Okay. Well, Ululani, you got a shout out you want to give out to anybody? Oh, yeah, to Justin Firstenfield. Uh, oh, Blue turn her off. Turn her off. She just said Justin Firstenfield. Ah, Justin, Justin Feld, Blue October. Blue Cobain October. His live DVD concert um, comes out. It's nothing to do with Halloween, babes. Nothing to do with Halloween. Hello, Blue October. They have October in the name. Oh, so fine. Boom. I'll let it slide. It might be scary if you don't like, uh, I don't know. It's not scary. No. He's only if really he, awesome. Only so, yeah. if he winks at you. It'll be scary. Anyways, wink, wink. say goodbye, Ululani. <laughs> goodbye, Ululani. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Okay, so that, that's Ululani, everybody. We'll probably have her on more often. More often, now that you know how to plug oh, that thing in. On. You know how to plug it in to the phone, and then boom, all of a sudden, we can talk to people. Over the, we can do that with Derek now. Right. We could do that with Derek. Yeah, we call just Derek his number. Okay, so what, you want Scary Sounds? What song? Uh, we got All of a Minute. All of a Minute. You know what? Let's just go with... Let's just, just, just go with the, in the, the beat. Okay. And so you so got any shout-outs? Do out? you have any shout-outs? Um, shout-out to uh, correspondent Ululani and uh, uh, yeah. and uh, what's-his-face? El, El Jawa at, El the Jawa. Haunted, at the Haunted Safeway. Uh, shout-out to Maui Foundation for that uh, Foundation. The awesome event. 
Um, CJ, up. CJ, she's a she's oh, be yeah. a new uh, radio new, personnel. New radio personality. Hey, big shout out to Chuck Sauce. Chuck Sauce. Been working with him all week. That guy is awesome. Awesome. He's sauce. funny. You can find him at Threes. Wow, hosting a Saturday nights or something, something like that. Something like that. I get the information later. Anyways, this is me, Killer Cal. At Tony Midnight, happy Halloween, everybody. All right, thank you. Have an amazing Halloween. We're going to see them next week before it's Halloween. Halloween. It, no, gonna... it's how the Halloween parties are starting already. Okay, so anyways, like we do every week, peace. Shaka. Dig